Going from a nobody to hosting one of the biggest podcasts in the world, Steiny has climbed the ranks insanely quick within the Nelk Empire. But this rising star has now become the community's punching bag and butt of every joke. Happy dad, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, you're so stupid. I want to roast you so bad all go the ahead. time. You're like a star now, right? Yeah. You get fired for real? Uh, we're not talking about that right now. <laughs> catching dubs is way better than catching L's. I don't know, man, because like L's kind of fit you. You look underage and overage at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I, I get that. Self-entitled, egomaniac, and a creep. These are but a few of many labels that have been placed on this young influencer by the community, proving that climbing to the top by any means necessary comes with its consequences. Who is Steiny? What made him the most hated Nelk member? Let's look at the man himself. Aaron Steinberg, also known as Steiny, is an influencer, YouTuber and podcast host known for appearing alongside content creators like Nelk and their Full Scent podcast. But before his rise to fame, Aaron was a normal kid who used to be a card dealer at his father's underground poker games. At a young age, Aaron was a hustler wanting to be more than he was. He often auditioned for movie roles but always got rejected, yet that did not bring his spirit down as he would continue to explore more areas like rapping, sports and even card dealing. That's when opportunity struck. Steiny always had an outgoing personality and had good networking skills. He put those skills at work during his poker games and often got acquainted with many businessmen, even started to arrange his own poker games. From there, Steiny got to do an interview for a personal assistant job with Bob Mennery, one of the founders and former members of the Full Send podcast. As Bob was going through potential candidates, he saw something different in Steiny, and later that day, tested his ability by asking Steiny to bring Adderall at 2 a.m. under 15 minutes. I called that night, his first mission was at 2 a.m. I said, you gotta get me an Adderall right now. You got 15 minutes, find one. <laughs> and he came through. Really? To his surprise, Steiny fulfilled his task with ease, making Bob impressed and eventually hiring Steiny as his personal assistant. Bob often praised Steiny for his hustler spirit and getting the job done in time. Steiny usually travelled all around the globe with Bob for events and meetings, bringing him groceries or arranging meetings for him. But their relationship became sour as Steiny was caught sleeping with Bob Mennery's ex-girlfriend, creating a large gap between their trust. And then, so we start banging, and huh. then all of a sudden I hear a knock at the door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no shot. No. Oh, <laughs> this yet. is fake. No, this is this 100% a real, story. real. It's a real story. And, and and I hear, what's going on in there? And I'm like, <laughs> I can hear it, but like, I'm like, yo, fuck it, like, whatever. Like, and so we're like still going at it, and then he comes in there. Oh, God. Wait, so he, he comes in there like mid. Yes. Yes. Yeah. In 2020, things cooled down between the two and Bob introduced Steiny to the Nelk boys in Abu Dhabi who were there for a UFC event. Later, during their stay, Bob Mennery decided to head back to the States due to COVID restrictions while Steiny stayed behind with the Nelk boys to enjoy the event. As Steiny got acquainted with the Nelk boys, he saw an opportunity to climb the ranks and later offered to become a personal assistant to Steve Will Do It, another popular Nelk member. Steve decided to take in Steiny as his personal assistant and tasked him to manage his girlfriend's OnlyFans account. Upon hearing the news, Bob Mennery gave his blessing to Steiny for his new position. As a personal assistant for Steve, Steiny took care of arranging meetings, managing Steve's YouTube channels and cleaned up the mess Steve made during his videos. Steiny was happy with his position as he was around people that knew how to garner in millions of views and make huge amounts of cash in result. Through that exposure, Steiny realised how the influencer industry worked and what he had to do to become part of it. Over the years, Steiny became an integral part of not only Steve's team, but also the Nelk boys as well. He would suggest ideas for future videos and would start to appear in them as well. From there, Steiny started to garner a following, even becoming a fan favourite for a while, but soon that bubble of likeness would pop in the coming years. After being noticed by everyone in the community, Steiny was given a choice to become a full-time podcast host on Full Send or be Steve's personal assistant. Without hesitation, Steiny chose to be a full-time host. After hearing the news, a beef started between Steve and Steiny as Steve felt betrayed by his former assistant. Both hadn't spoken to each other for quite some time. 
Meanwhile, the community began roasting Steiny for his mega ego complex, as he often flexed gold chains, luxurious cars, and bragged about his wealth on social media, even later demanding first class flights with the Nelk crew. Still taking Steiny with you, he's gonna go? He's not going because um, he's not, he, we wouldn't give him first Flight class. Flight class issues, yeah. Yeah, because it's like $15,000. I get it. He yeah. doesn't. Yeah. But I get it. Yeah. Slowly making the community dislike him even more, saying, they really put Steiny on and take care of him. And I think Steiny has become entitled, thinking he deserves everything. Many people found out the gold chains and luxurious cars Steiny flexed were rented from the beginning. He's a big, he's a big flexor, that guy. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Do you, yeah. you, I don't know if you've seen any of his shit, but yeah, he's, he's a, a smaller flexor. guy, isn't he? Yeah. He could wear a watch on his neck, I bet. I could yeah. see him being that kind of guy, wear like a Rolex neck. He, wear, he like, he rents chains off jewelers. Like he's, he's a big flexor, that guy. Even his own podcast members roasted him for being so fake on social media. You're the guy who takes fucking chains and jewelry from Steve and you pretend like it's yours, you hit on chicks. Why are you, you, so to, triggered? you want me to go hard on you? During his years at Full Send and Nelk, Steiny was always the butt of the joke. Members like Bradley Martin often roasted Steiny every opportunity he got, making Steiny a laughing stock among the members and the whole online community. Upon looking at his track record, People noticed how Steiny took advantage of people he worked under and left them in the dust for his personal gain. As Bob Mennery expressed his true feelings in a Raw Talk podcast regarding Steiny, calling him a rat and how he weaseled his way to the top. Yeah. Like Aaron's going to fucking crush it in life, he's, but he's a rat. He's I think I was the first person who gave him a chance on the internet, though. Yeah, I had nothing to do with that shit. Like on, on the whole social thing, like putting him on and then him be, everyone being like, wait, this dude's really fucking funny. Because we put him in our videos first and then he was like, now he start, now he's like, all over this shit. Yeah, I mean, he's done a good little job of uh, finagling, weaseling his way yeah, in. That's why we always give him the jokes. Where it's like he's just gonna someday he's gonna dip on Steve and have like a fucking Steiny will do it. But that wasn't all, as Steiny himself would confess to abusing the blessing he got while working under Steve, driving Steve's Lamborghini to go to parties, not attending his calls, and flexing Steve's wealth for his own personal gains. Steiny's like, bet I'm off. I'm going out. <laughs> so you uh, took his Lamborghini. Oh, try to shit. take I his had the fucking Richard Million, I had the Lambo. I was like, yo, I'm going to try to get his get security the... to come. Yeah. The driver, like the driver, like all Steve shit. Yeah. So I went to dinner at Komodo. I had dinner at Komodo. <laughs> I came back and I was like, yo, I need the driver and the sprinter. I need security. Like I was the guy. Like I was Steve will do it. That's why yeah. I acted. Yeah. yeah. I had the Richard Milley. I had everything. Upon listening to these stories, the community started dissing Steiny even more, saying slimy Steiny is holding on for dear life to stay relevant. He's guaranteed begging the boys to keep him on the podcast. Steiny thinks he's even bigger than what he is. He would literally be nothing without Steve, and Steiny seems to forget that. Dude needs to be more humble. The hate towards Steiny grew within the community so much so, people started to write Reddit threads about him on the R Nelk, accusing him of being a harasser, an egomaniac, and a genuine creep. By witnessing the downfall of our good friend Steiny boy, we asked the question, was it fame that inflated his ego to such a wide extent? Or was this always his personality from the very beginning, just waiting to be exposed? As of 2023, Steiny is still being roasted by co-host Bradley Martin, but has been getting less hate from the community as Steiny has not been appearing frequently in the Full Scent podcast, and as mentioned in a January 17th episode, how he's trying to be better than his past self, regretting the facade he put on for clout and wants to make his own way in the influencer industry, one that isn't based on an illusion but on honesty. After the episode aired, the community showed a positive reaction towards Steiny. Some saying, Steiny being real on the second half of this pod was really dope. Loved that Steiny finally opened up and said some deep shit. Gave me a different perspective of him and made me respect him more. So maybe all the call outs and roast sessions from the community did work on him after all. But will this redemption arc succeed? Only time will tell. <laughs>